Hi crew, we're going to do a little math review, dividing with zeros in the quotient. I uh, hope you're getting ready to study for our quiz tomorrow and you'll do very well if you follow this. So before I begin, let's get our math problem set up. Remember, when we divide, every number in the house needs a number above it. Also, for those of you who are finding this handy, dad, mom, sister, and brother, and don't forget, dog checkers, uh, we this is really helpful in remembering the steps to division. So let's get started. 9 divided by 9 is what? So if that kind of confuses you, can uh, another way to think about it is 9 times what gets as close as to 9? This is an easy one. So we know that 1 times 9, so that would be our division. I'll put that answer up there. To multiply, I multiply the number on the roof times the number at the door. 1 times 9 is 9. I put it right directly below this 9 here. And now I subtract. Alright, next step. And 9 take away 9 is 0. Now I check. 0 is smaller than the number at the door, so I can continue on to bring down. And I bring down the 7. Now I begin again, all the steps over. 7 divided by 9. Or 9 times what gets me closest to 7 is another way to look at it. But it's 7 is smaller than 9. And 9 doesn't go into 7 evenly. So this is where you have to remember, you can't move on. You have to put a 0 here. It's very important that we remember we're in the tens place right now. You have to put something in the tens place before we go on to bring down the number in the ones place. So I would go ahead and bring down the 2. Now I can divide 72 by 9. 9 times what gets me closest to 72? That would be 8. That was my division fact. 8 times 9 is my uh, multiplication. would be 72. My next step would be subtract. And there's nothing left over. To check, that number is smaller than the number at the door. And there's nothing left to bring down. Every number in the house has a number above it, so the problem is over. Now we do want to check our work always. That way you can ensure you're going to get 100% of your math test. So let's multiply the number on the roof times the number at the door. Now if we're using our vocabulary properly, that would be the quotient times the divisor. So 9 times 8 is 72. Carry the 7. 9 times 0 is 0 plus 7 would be 7. And 9 times 1 is 9. And we know in class we say, voila! Ici là, dans chez moi. Excellent. Let's do it. One more problem with this right here. Again, every number in the house must have a number above it. And let's again remember our steps. Dad, mom, sister, brother, and dog checkers. So let's divide. 4 divided by 5, or 5 times what gets me closest to 4? Well, 4 is smaller than 5, and so it cannot be divided, so that would be 0. Now when I move on to the next phase, I'm going to combine these numbers. 45 divided by 5, or 5 times what gets me closest to 45? And that would be 9. So there was my division I did. I now do the multiplication. 9 times 5 is 45. And now I subtract. 45 take away 45 would be 0. It's smaller than the number at the door, so it is time to bring down. So I can bring down the 3 and begin again. So 3 divided by 5, or 5 times white gets me closest to 3. 3 is too small. Cannot divide 5 into 3. Yet, I can't move on, because there is nothing in the ones place here. So, if you were telling me to put a zero there, you were correct. Now, there's nothing more to bring down. Every number in the house has a number above it, so my problem is over. So that would be a remainder of three. Now let's check our work. We have to do this piece in order to make sure we are doing it correctly. 5 times 0 is 0, and 5 times 9 is 45, and don't forget to add in the remainder. 
plus 3, maybe 3, 5, 4. And our favorite part of doing the checking, voila, ici là, dans chez moi. Well done, guys. Hope you remember when you don't have a number that can divide in, you have to put a zero there, whether it's in the middle of the uh, problem or at the end.